The majority of crypto projects are down in price significantly since the highs that were established during quarter four of last year. And that has a lot of people wondering if now is a good time to start accumulating altcoins. While prices can of course go lower if we see a continued downtrend in Bitcoin or if the markets in general goes down, well, there's still a lot of high quality and proven altcoins that are available for just a fraction of what they have been worth before. There are also new and promising projects launching now that are also worth looking into. A good strategy during times like these can be to do some in-depth research and begin averaging into positions that you are going to hold for the long term. If you do that, then you know that you are buying coins with good fundamentals, which helps you to not worry as much about short-term price action. Dollar cost averaging into positions also helps with that because if you buy over a couple of weeks or months while a project consolidates, then you are not as affected by the daily ups and downs and are able to have a longer term perspective. This can be how you end up making that 10x, that 50x or even more. So even if you are a short term trader, separating your short term trades from your long term huddle positions is something, of course, not financial advice, but that is something I think that you should definitely think about. But if you look at the charts of coins that have made returns like 50x, 10x or whatever in the past, it is very rare that they pumped that hard in a week or in a month, but rather that you would have needed to hold for a longer amount of time through all the smaller pumps and crashes in order to make those life-changing gains. Additionally, the people who make that type of return usually either buy near the launch of a project or when a project has seen a major correction. This is why in this video I will be covering some altcoins with proven use cases that have seen corrections as well as some newer NFT focused coins which could benefit from the current hype around the sector and see some longer term growth. Before I get started with that, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell icon so you do not miss out on more videos like this as well as everything else I post around the channel. First up today, we have GMX, a decentralized exchange that allows users to trade perpetuals for a variety of top coins with up to 30x leverage. Exchanges have always been some of the most profitable businesses in the crypto industry, and decentralized exchanges have continued that trend by being some of the top revenue generating DeFi protocols. However, if you look at the charts for different DEXs, you will see that in spite of them generating revenue, not all of them see the price of their native token increase over time. There are a couple of different reasons for this, but one of the most common is unsustainable tokenomics. For example, many DEXs have very high emissions in order to incentivize liquidity provision, which can lead to farmers continuously dumping rewards and driving prices down. GMX, on the other hand, has taken a more sustainable approach towards tokenomics. Staking rewards are paid out in a combination of Ethereum or AVAX, multiplier points and escrow GMX, which vests over a year. This reduces supply inflation and reward longer term holders. The exchange has already done over $33 billion in volume and grown their user base to over 12,000 traders. The protocol is based on Arbitrum and Avalanche in order to provide low fees and quick transactions. As we continue to see more crypto users migrate on-chain, GMX is an attractive choice for the traders out there and is well positioned to benefit from their volume. Next up we have Ape, the token for Yuga Labs board Ape's Yacht NFT collection. This is an interesting option if you believe that NFTs in general are going to continue growing in popularity. If you did not know, Yuga Labs is behind not only the Bored Apes group of collections, but also CryptoPunks and MeBits. This makes them by far the most influential company in the NFT space, and they have stated that ApeCoin will be used throughout any future projects. That alone is promising for Ape, but there are a few specific catalysts coming up to be aware of. First is the uh, other site's metaverse, which has been teased on Twitter and the Yuga Labs site and will be powered by ApeCoin. One thing we know for sure about this metaverse is that the land plots within it will be sold as NFTs. While it has not been confirmed, it is possible that the sale of those NFTs will use ApeCoin as the token for purchases, which could generate a lot of demand for it. One other event which is going to raise more awareness of the Bored Apes collection and NFTs in general is the release of the trilogy of animated short films in partnership with Coinbase's new entertainment team. As more people become interested in NFTs and potentially want to invest in them, it will be a lot easier for them to buy some Ape tokens than an NFT from one of the most popular collections where a single piece can cost tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
Moving on, we have a project which you are probably familiar with if you do any farming, and that is Beefy. Beefy is a yield optimizer that launched on the Binance Smart Chain back during the DeFi season in late 2020, but since then they have expanded to become one of the most popular multi-chain yield optimizers with close to a billion dollars in TVL. Similarly to how I explained with GMX, Beefy stands out from other similar products thanks to its tokenomics design. Yield optimizers are able to generate revenue from performance fees on their vaults, but surprisingly few of them capitalize on those fees to generate growth for their native token. The native BFI token has a fairly simple design. There is a maximum supply of 80,000 BFI, or if you want to call it BFI. So 72,000 of those were distributed in the first two months the product was around, and the other 8,000 were locked for the team and slowly vested. All revenue generated from vault fees is distributed to Beefy stakers. Because Beefy is available on many different chains, stakers can choose to receive their rewards in a variety of different tokens. If they choose to earn more Beefy, those rewards tokens are purchased off the open market, which creates further demand. The Beefy team has been quick to add support for any popular new layer 1, so as long as farming remains popular, there is a good chance that Beefy will continue to see success. Another interesting NFT related project to consider is Immutable X. Immutable is an Ethereum layer 2 designed specifically for NFT use. Some of its features are listed here and include no gas fees for P2P trading, scalability to support over 9000 transactions per second, and instant transactions. Immutable has the support of Coinbase, FTX, and some other big names, but Coinbase specifically is interesting because they are going to release their own NFT marketplace soon. If Immutable is integrated into that marketplace, then it could see very rapid adoption as Coinbase is home to tens of millions of crypto users already. Immutable is also marketing itself as an attractive choice for play to earn games because one of the barriers to adoptions those have been seen is people needing to pay transaction fees to interact with NFT in-game items or tokens. Some NFT products already working with Immutable are shown here and include OpenSea, Illuvium, Gods Unchained, Ecomi and others. If Immutable ends up becoming a go-to layer 1 for NFTs, then it could see some major growth from its current size. One more thing I want to talk about today is the Lunar Crystals NFT collection. Of course, the Lunar Project, which is a partner of the channel, we have been talking about their project previously, they are launching the Genesis collection of cross-chain NFTs on April the 28th, and it will consist of 4,444 crystals minted on the BNB Smart Chain. If you are unfamiliar with Lunar, it is a project creating an ecosystem designed to streamline the crypto and NFT experience into a single platform where you can trade nearly any digital asset on any blockchain in a single click. These Lunar Crystals NFTs are going to be a core element in the Lunar ecosystem. Along with displaying Ultra HD animations of magic crystals from deep space, these NFTs will also have strong utility as shown here. They will grant holders special powers, unlock unique features and discounts, provide beta access to new tech in the Lunar ecosystem, and provide the ability to earn some rewards by staking. There will be different classes of crystals with varying rarities and benefits, and these are shown here. If you want to be able to mint these during the pre-sale, you will need a whitelist spot. Time is running out to gain whitelist eligibility as signups close on April the 24th. The link to the whitelist is below in the description, so if you want to participate in the mint, make sure to check that out. The pre-sale will be taking place on April the 27th, followed by the public sale on April the 28th. Additionally, on the 28th, a portion of the collection will be available to purchase on the official Binance NFT marketplace, so that will help get the product some extra exposure. Then, on May the 4th, the NFTs will shed their outer meteorite shell to reveal the crystals within. If you are interested in minting a crystal but are not already experienced with NFTs, there's no need to worry because Lunar has provided step-by-step -step instructions here on the site if you need them. Lunar is also currently hosting a massive giveaway to promote their first ever in-person event, the NFT Exploverse, which will be one of the biggest NFT-focused events of the year. If you're interested in NFTs, this is not something you want to miss. It will be taking place in Los Angeles from July the 29th to the 31st. Right now, you can enter to win over $10,000 in prices, including things like 0.5 Ethereum, plane tickets, hotel accommodations, and VIP access to the event. 
The link to that giveaway will also be in the description for y'all to check out. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.